All right, my name is Mace McNaught. And my name is Chase Carter. And this is our manager leader project. And for our food service restaurant, we chose Mellow Mushroom. So for our two interviewees, we decided to go with two managers of Mellow Mushroom. We wanted to kind of see the different perspectives we'd get. We could have just interviewed one, but being as though they're both in similar positions, I wanted to see their different uh, approaches and, and perceptions on these different questions that we picked. So Britt is a key manager of Blowing Rock and Boone whereas Bailey is just a manager of Boone. The highest level of education that they've both received is a high school diploma, but Bailey is in the process of getting his degree. He's just put that on hold because Mellow Mushroom did require a little more time from him um, just with this kind of semester and the way COVID's been going, but he does plan to go back, but we'll get to that later. Okay, the first question we ask is, what is the most difficult part of managing? Bailey, he answered that multitasking and making sure that everyone is satisfied. So he has to deal with the customers and the other employees and make sure that they are fully happy with what is being what is being done in his in his building. And Brett, she feels like if I, I myself don't do something, then it won't be done correctly. And disciplining people when you know that they can do better. So basically she just feels like she wants to make sure that people are, the employees are being absolutely the most productive that they possibly can be. So for our next question we asked, how would you describe your managing style? So right off the bat, Bailey and Britt both said pretty laid back, which I can agree and attest to that being as though I work there. The second thing is when it's time to get down to business, it's time. There is no playing. When it's a Friday or Saturday night and those ticket times are an hour, we're on an hour wait and customers are unhappy, both Bailey and Britt, they do that duality of being a, they like to have a good time, but as soon as it requires that they step into that manager role and get serious, they both can do that. But overall, 90%, 95% of the time, they're super laid back. We're laughing, cutting up jokes, having a great time while also getting those pizzas to the customers. And then um, one thing I did know is Britt and Bailey both, they really do a good job when you first come in explaining what is expected. And their managing style, compared to all the other managers I've had, I have no complaints. They do a really good job at what they do. But How do you handle conflict in the workplace? So both Bailey and Britt pretty much said that they like to sit the parties down, separate them, and then let them talk it out or let them handle the situation and be professional about it in order to get a, revolu a resolution. They want to make sure that two people can talk to each other and that they can figure out a situation before it becomes a bigger issue, which is really good for a manager to do. The next question we asked them is, what do you look for in employees? Um, Bailey responded with attitude, work ethic, and a desire to be here. You can obviously, Britt's response is good work ethic, good work ethic experience, and availability. She really stressed the availability just because when you're working with college students, balancing school life and a job can kind of be complicated. Also, she put something on here, the ability to carry a conversation, and I found that kind of odd, and I said, can you kind of unpack that and explain a little more? Being as though you're in the service industry, you have to be willing to talk to customers, talk to your employees, because... That's the main point of your job is communication between the customer, you, and then to the kitchen to get that pizza order out to that customer. So she really stressed that she looks for people that are good communicators, but overall it was mainly the, the biggest point that they both hit on was good work ethics because you don't want to have anybody that doesn't do their job effectively or wants to be there. All right, the next question what we asked them was, what are some of your daily or managerial tasks? And both of them pretty much answered the same thing, making sure the restaurant's clean, counting money, uh, making sure that the food is ready, is made to order, and uh, dealing with the staff and making sure that the staff stay on task. So the biggest of those probably being that the food is made to order because they want to ensure that they're creating a great product and that it's going out each and every night, and making sure that the staff stay on task. As m most managers, they have to make sure that their staff are doing their job, which is pretty good. So the next question we asked him was, what are your goals? Britt is happy with where she's gotten within Mellow Mushroom. You know, being that key manager is something she always wanted when she first got a job there. And now that she's a key manager for both Boone and Blowing Rock, she has a lot of responsibility. She enjoys that responsibility, and she handles it very well. She's probably the best manager that Mellow Mushroom's seen in a long time. And even Des and Chase, the owners, can attest to this. So she used the term being the top dog within Mellow Mushroom and Boone. I thought that was kind of funny because that's, that's Britt's attitude. She's a top dog. Nobody's above her. If there's any complaints, anything that needs to be handled, who do you call? Britt. Then she, I kind of let her answer this outside of it too. She said her future goal is to find another job in leadership. Through working in the food service industry, she's found that she enjoys that role of leadership and she really does an effective and good job at it. And I've enjoyed working underneath of her and all that. Then Bailey's response to it was, he wants to continue to move up within Mellow Mushroom because he's not quite on Britt's level. Also, too, he said his long-term goal is to go back to college and finish his degree. This is something I noted on earlier. 
he put his education on hold for Mellow Mushroom. They just required more hours, more help from him, and he found that he couldn't do both at the same time and give 100% effort. So, I mean, I mean, not that I applaud him for putting his degree on hold, but the fact that he was willing to step up and give what just a little bit extra that was needed, and he plans to go back and finish it. But overall, Britt and Bailey are both great managers, and I found that I really like their answers and responses to this or what are their goals. All right, the next question we asked them is, how do you encourage team building among employees? And they both pretty much answered that they're a very tight-knit group and that it's not really necessary for them to do building because they, they're extremely welcoming to people and that they hang out outside of work and they have a very good uh, relationship, which Mason can probably explain more since he works there. Yeah, so it, it, there's no encouragement needed. Um, something that Chase saw, even when we were interviewing both um, Britt and Bailey, the amount of people that came up said, hey, they're like, oh, what are you guys doing? All that's super cool. I mean, just the amount of interaction that, that Chase was able to see from me with my fellow employees and just Britt and Bailey in the laid back environment. So how do you encourage it? Specifically for them, they didn't need to encourage it. Look, we go outside, Boone Saloon, when we're closing on a Friday or Saturday night, we'll text in the group chat, hey, where's everyone going tonight? So, I mean, it is a family. So there was really no encouragement needed. And we hang out quite often. I mean, even Bailey said, given the small town we live in, it's kind of hard not to run into one another when there's only like four or five restaurants to go to. And you're always running into somebody you know, whether it's at the gym, school, anywhere. And the, the amount, the close friend group that I've developed at Mellow is amazing. And the team building because of that, when it's a Friday or Saturday night, you can really rely on those individuals when the pizzas are flying out, things are going wrong. They're there to help you. They're not just there for yourselves. And I know this is a really long-winded uh, response to this question, but that's also, too, why when given the choice, who did we want to interview, I contacted Chase. I'm like, look, I think we should do Mellow Mushroom. I have a lot of in-depth experience with it. I could really encourage that. I mean, just Bailey and Britt, I knew good managers overall, and I worked there, so I can give you a little more insight into it. But overall... This was our presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much.